Hey everyone, I'm Elvin here. So today we're gonna do a quick video demonstration on how you can actually um, rub the belts on K3D Quite Square machines. Now, what I have in front of me is a Ender 5 um, K3D conversion kits, uh, regardless of whether it's an Ender 3 or Ender uh, 5. Uh, all the components are interchangeable except the extrusions that we provide. A yeah, custom length uh, for the machine. So, real quick, uh, this is the uh, the plate that we have this is our hot end plate all right and usually you will find um, four slots uh, on the hot end plate that secures uh, belt one and belt two all right so you have two slots on the left and two slots on the right all right belt one and belt two uh, refers to the top belt and uh, of course um, the bottom belt that you see now just in case you haven't realized uh, k3d quite swine machines all uses uh, unita uh, genuine belts from gates and the reason why we provide um, uh, genuine gates is because if you're going to be putting uh, a true coax uh, motion system on your printer uh, using gates from, or rather using non-genuine, uh, ingenuine gates from, from China, it's just uh, not optimizing the efficiency that you're getting uh, from a true coax machine. Alright, this is why we don't scream on parts. Alright, so uh, starting from belt one real quick, now you realize that this thing is loose, it's deliberate because we need to uh, insert the belts uh, onto the belt slots later on. So starting from belt one, we're going to be routing across the machine. Now before we start, I just want to give you uh, a very good overview on how you can identify the correct police uh, to route from. Alright, so every component in the CoXY conversion kit, uh, you will realize that there are two levels, right? This pulleys and bearings are a pair, they are at level 1, right? To have something above, right here, would be level 2. So this is level 1. Level 1 is usually for the belt at level 1, which is belt 2, right? The bottom one. And then sometimes you see pulleys at level 1 and bearings at level 2. So it makes sense that you have a top belt going up and you have a bottom belt going at the bottom. Uh, this is a very good indication. And of course, at the back, it's a bit more complicated. We actually have four bearings of two levels. So you have you have level one right here, right level one, and then you have level two. And of course, you have uh, a motor. All right. In our coaxial machines, we have two motors, A and B. So this is A motor, and this is B motor. A motor is responsible for the top belt because the teeth is actually aligned at the top, and B motor is aligned is meant for the bottom belt which is belt 2 because the teeth is at the bottom. So same thing, there's level 1 and level 2 for the rear uh, B motor idler. And right at the front, which is a wide carriage, right wide carriage, you see uh, a level 2 pulley. And then um, if we just show you, uh, position the camera, uh, there is actually a pulley right here, a bearing, which is, at, these are industrial bearings, at level 1. So right in front, on your front right idler, you'll see that you have a pulley um, right here at level 2 and then you have a bearing at level 1 so real quick starting from our uh, belt 1 we're going to show you uh, what is uh, what is required all right so we just want to make sure that we're grabbing the correct um, belt now that we found the, the end of the belt we're going to go through uh, the wide left carriage first all right so this is a level 1 uh, pulley, so that has nothing to do with us because we are working on level 2. So we're going to insert right right through first. And then of course, uh, we're just going to pull the belt through real quick and make sure the belts do not tangle. Alright, so if, if you've got two hands, um, it's going to be a lot easier. Alright, so what we're showing is because we've got one hand uh, on the camera and one hand uh, showing you this. All right, so we just want to make sure that your belts are sitting in front of the bearing. All right, so it's going to go all the way to the back. All the way to the back. All right, so at this point, right, remember we mentioned that Moto A actually has uh, the, the, the teeth aligned at the top. So this is, this is also uh, something you want to be routing belt 1 into. So to route um, belt 1 into the pulleys, the, the Moto is very easy. All, right, all you have to do is to make a, a small fold like that. All right, insert it through. And then make sure that they sit inside. All right, the belt sits inside. Gently tuck on it. Right. Sometimes your belt goes right all the way down, so be sure to make sure that it sits uh, on the teeth. All right. Otherwise, you're gonna have problems later on. All right. So it sits on level one of the belt. 
right? This thing dropped down. So we need to make sure it sits right. Right, level one. Level one is gonna go all the way to the back. Alright. Now remember at Moto B, it doesn't make contact with Moto B, but it continues riding on the second level bearing, not level one. Alright, and it's gonna come all the way to the front of the printer. Alright, there you go. Can you see this is the front of the printer? Alright, level two. So this is what we're gonna do. All right, we're gonna find the end of the belt and then we are gonna insert um the end of the belt through. Alright. So insert it in. Whoops, so you see <laughs> your belt coming up from the wrong direction. Alright, you just want to make sure that your belts are going in the correct um direction. There you go. So it came out correctly. I'm just gonna pull. Alright, so when you pull, same thing. Alright, so up. So once you pull the belt is gonna travel all the way up until this point. This is a pulley at level 2 so that means that our belt has to be going through this thing as well before going back to our hot end plane. Alright? So again, take the end of the belt right, and you're just gonna insert it through. Alright, this might be a bit difficult to insert so you just have to push the, the uh, belts through. Alright? So th this are uh, so uh, um, again. We just want to emphasize that um, the belts are genuine get get belt. This is what we use, and uh, you can see them reflected on the belts that we have. All right. So we're just gonna pull and make sure that they are seated um, with the idler and nowhere else. All right. So it's a bit difficult with one hand. We're gonna try our best to show you. There you go. All right. So this uh, this ends. Uh, Part one of the of the video, so you can see that this is belt one uh, being correctly routed, not tension. We have a video on tensioning, but this is just belt one being routed. Now, after you're done at this stage, what you want to do is to take the end of the belt and then insert it into belt one slot. All right, but since since we have got two hands tied, we can, we can't do that. But you can actually remove the plate and then you can insert it into uh, belt one uh, belt one slot. All right. Okay, so um, that's all for belt one. All right, now that we are done with uh, belt one, we managed to put it in off camera. All right, so um, we are gonna work on belt two. Remember, belt two is the one at the bottom. All right, so belt two, we're gonna grab um, the end of the belt, which is right here. This um, belt two, belt two is gonna go and make contact with the level one pulley. All right, remember our explanation early on. The one, the components that pulley the bearings at the bottom belongs to belt two, because it's at the, at the bottom. All right, so we're just gonna insert it right through. All right, in, instead of going to the back this time around, we're coming in front. All right, because that's how the belt uh, will flow uh, with the direction of the pulley. All right, so we're just gonna pull. Whoops. So sometimes you pull too fast, things start to move. All right, so the belt caught onto something. So sorry about that. Just gonna pull. Okay. And after you're done with, with this part, the belt will actually come forward. Right. Right here. Alright, so we're gonna take the end of the belt. Alright, the end of the belt is gonna be routing through here. Alright, which is the front. Alright, not the top, alright, because we want to be guiding the belt into where the bearings are. Alright, so we're going to rub them through. We're going to pull. Just pull gently, otherwise <laughs> your hot end is going to fly again. We're just going to make sure that they sit. Um, the tolerances are pretty tight. This is what we designed them to be. So you're going to make sure that they are seated um, right inside where they are supposed to be sitting. Right, if they're not, you just have to nudge them a little bit. Alright, so just gonna nudge them real quick. Alright, so this is when they are seated correctly. You do not want the belt to be sitting above or below, right? You want the belt to be sitting uh, with the pulley and being aligned with the bearing, right? They're both the the bear, the pulley and the bearing will work hand in hand, alright? And they cannot do without each other, alright? So, uh, the belt again, right? Hold it and we're gonna route all the way to the back. Now remember the Moto A is responsible for the top belt, 
that means that it has no business at all, right? Um, with belt two, sometimes your belt one drops down because belt one is not tension. So you just want to make sure that you know, uh, belt two sits at the correct level or it's routed correctly, right? Belt one and belt two. Remember that, right? Belt one and belt two. Okay. So same thing. Right now we're gonna bring the end of the belt all the way to B moto. Now, at B moto, you will now realize that B moto actually controls belt two. Therefore, we have to be creating the same pocket, or rather the same um, loop that we created earlier on, just for belt two. So you're gonna create the loop right here, and you're gonna insert it through. All right. So once you insert the loop through, you can see the loop here. All right. You're gonna loop it over. You just want to make sure that it sits. Again, it sits with the teeth. All right. Once you're done with that, you want to pull the rest of the belt. All right. All the way. So this is this is again this is belt two. All right. So belt two doesn't have to go to the front of the printer. All right. Because this has really been tensioned, uh, or rather is, this is meant for belt 1, alright? So we're gonna see, and we're gonna look for this little bearing here, right? I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's this bearing right behind, behind the 20T uh, 2GT pulley, alright? This bearing, it's gonna come right here, but it's gonna be in front, alright? So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shift the print a little bit and show you that this hole right here is where the belts are going to be going through. So your belt, alright, it's going to come right here. Alright, it's not going to be here. Alright, it's not going to be here. It's going to come right here, right in front of the bearing. Alright, we're going to insert it through. Alright, so you'll realize that there's some complication uh, with the belt. Don't worry about that. So you're just going to pull, pull first. Alright, so you'll realize that belt 1 has become loose and making things very complicated. Now this is what happens when you don't pay attention. You can see that belt 1 is at the top, belt 2 is coming from the top. Now this is wrong and this is going to result in complication and you're going to have a hell of time to tighten your belt. So I just want to uh, take a step back All right, and make sure that belt 2 goes to the bottom instead. Alright, so we're just going to show you real quick. If I can. There you go. So now we are correct. Alright, so belt 1 sits at the top. Just going to tension it just to show you. And belt 2. Right, routes the bearing at the bottom it comes right here. So belt two. Alright, so this is belt one. Yeah, just move it out of the out of the out of the way so you can see. And this is belt two. Alright, belt two is gonna be attached to the lower belt slot right here. Again, um we don't have extra hands, but we're gonna show you real quick uh what the attachment uh looks like. Now that we are done with attaching belt 1 and belt 2, which is your top belt and your bottom belt for your uh, hardened plate, it's important uh, that before we move on to the next step, uh, to do a quick check uh, on your belt routing, right? It is not uh, unusual for you to finish belt 2 to realize that your belts have tangled uh, up somewhere, alright? It, it's not unusual at all, especially when you have a core XY system. Remember that the belts are the most important thing to make your system work. Uh, beautifully and wonderfully. Alright, so again, uh, the top belt, the top belt goes all the way, right, routes to the bearing right here, it goes all the way to the top, right, it routes at level 2, right, this is level 1, this is level 2, level 2, level 2, remember, level 2, you have, uh, the belt goes right in, it comes back out, it continues at level 2, all the way, to the, uh, the B motor assembly, it doesn't make contact with the motor at all, it continues at level 2, and it continues at level 2 again it comes right here all the way alright remember it doesn't go into the hot end plate so level 2 is going to come right here 
right, it's going to be entered into this uh, bearing that makes contact with a pulley, the pulley right here. Right, this pulley here is actually responsible for keeping your belt parallel from here and all the way to here and of course to the back printer. Right, so this is how you achieve a parallel belt system. All right, so it's going to come all the way here, follow, and then we have uh, the pulley and the pulley comes all the way right here to the top of the belt. All right, for belt one. Uh, belt two is just the opposite. Belt two comes all the way to the front. All right, it's guided by this, um, this idler pulley. All right. And from this idler pulley, you're going to move it all the way in front. All right, it's going to pop out at uh, where this bearing is. All right, it's going to come out, and we're going to let it go all the way behind to the um, uh, rear left idler uh, assembly. And as you can tell, this Moto A has no business with belt tool, so it just routes um, at the bottom belt. All right, instead of the, the this is top belt, this is bottom. All right, belt tool, bottom belt. It's going to route all the way. Alright, so it's going to be routing from here all the way to the right idle assembly. Alright, and, and, and at this point, this is where we insert um, a, a, the belt um, into uh, B Moto. Alright, so if you miss this part, please uh, you know, go forward uh, to the previous uh, uh, timeline of this video to show how we actually loop the belt into Moto B. And then, of course, it comes back out and continues on level 2. Level 2. It's right here. The belt ends here. All right. The belt stops here, and it goes into the assembly, right, of this of, of the bearing. All right, because it's belt two. Can you see the the bearing right here? All right. So this bearing goes right here. It's gonna come out. All right. It doesn't make contact with uh, the spaces that we use uh, because of the design, and then it's gonna come all the way here to um, the bottom belt assembly, which is right here. All right, of uh, the hot end plate. So uh, once you're done with this, uh, routing for your K3D Core XY machine is, is complete. And the next steps would be to uh, assemble your X carriage, or the next steps can be uh, tightening uh, the belt tension uh, of your uh, Core XY machine. Uh, we leave that up to you. You can always follow the manual uh, should you have any uh, questions. And of course, uh, like, like all things, if you've got any questions regarding uh, the Core XY system, what kind of machines we convert, why we use skates instead of China belts, uh, whether there's any remarkable performance uh, differences, and how Coaxi machines are actually uh, a lot better than i3 machines. Uh, let us know in the comments below, uh, or you can always uh, look us up on our Facebook group, uh, which we provide support for. And of course, if you've got uh, anything else, just, just let us know, and we'll be more than happy to uh, help you with it. So that's all for the video. Uh, take care and goodbye.